What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Leos? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Just want to thank you guys for your patience as I get these videos out. I just had a tooth pulled, and so I'm recovering a little tired today, but I did need to get in some work, so I'm trying to get these in. I just wanted to do a quick reading today. We are going down the rabbit hole with uh, what's coming in love. So far, it's been really crazy, but we'll find out what Source wants to tell you in regards to what's coming in love. I want to thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. I just want to thank you to my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. It is a true honor and a blessing being here. And I just want to say my prayer, as always, is that these fall upon your heart in a way that remind you to use your discernment and your intuition and to take back your power and to go and live your best journey, make the choices that best suit you in this now moment. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it, guys, and see what messages are coming up in regards to love for Leo. So what messages are coming up in regards to love for Leo? Can we help out Leo? What's coming up in love? So remember, guys, these are general messages. What's coming up in regards to love, Source? How can we help out Leo in regards to love? What do we need to know at this time in regards to love? What messages do you have for Leo in regards to love, Source? messages do you have in regards to Leo for love? Okay, one more. All right. What's going on in love for Leo? Let's see, guys. Let's see what's going to come out. What messages do you have for Leo for love, Source? What's going on for Leo in love? Wow, that one was flying over there. Okay. Um. So there's a lot of negativity right now around you. Uh, being your own worst enemy. This is like you not wanting to change. Feeling stuck. Feeling burdened. Yeah. Conceited and limited visions. Like it's like you're not taking action towards something because you're fearing what has happened in the past. So this could be for those of you that are single. But this could be for those of you involved in a connection as well. And just afraid of taking it to the next level. What else is coming out for Leo and Love Source? What else do you want to tell them in regards to love? Wow, that stack is way too big. Let's not go there. What else do you want to... Okay, thank you, Source. But, wow, this is like completely out of your element. This is all in your head, guys. Like, it's a lot of sword energy coming in. You guys are fire. Yeah, and then we've got the five of coins on the bottom. Yeah, you guys are going to overcome things. Like, I feel like there's been an instability when it came to love. Like, and so you've just spent time working on yourself and manifesting, manifesting what you want. But it's like you're going to overcome it no matter what at the end of the day. Like, you're still going to get through it. But you guys are the ones that are stopping yourself from progress and love. So it's like, if you want love, it's like you're wondering who's going to come in and save you, but but you're the one that's not changing. So this could be because you guys are Leos, and I love Leos, so I'm not saying this as like, oh gosh, Leo, of course, of course this is, you know, like, like, you guys are so confident and courageous in your energy, and you guys are stable with who you are as people, and oftentimes you get in this energy, everybody has to fight and chase me. And sometimes it's not like that. Okay, like sometimes it's not like that at all. You have to be in an energy of, of receiving. Yes, but you guys also have to be in an energy of taking action. And I feel like right now it's like you don't want to take action because you're stuck in your mind of like, well, if so-and-so really likes me, then they should come towards me. Right. And it's like, it's, you've tried and tr like, this is like tried and true methods for you. It's like, if you always stayed in this energy and it's always worked out for you, but you start with five and you end with five and there's this huge element of change here and completing the cycle, finding your own inner truth and realizing that sometimes you got to be the one to make the first move regardless. Yeah, so, <laughs> what did I say? A huge need for change, and we have death or the nameless card coming out, talking about transformation. 
Okay, please get a clarifying card for this Knight of Swords in the reverse. Swords. Clarifying card for this Knight of Swords. I mean, please get a clarifying card for this Knight of Swords. Clarifying card for this Knight of Swords. Okay, wow, thank you. Yeah, it's like you've gotten, so you've been so stuck in your head that all you can do is focus on work. Right? It's like creating things outside of the box. It's like you're, but see, look, it's like when he swings his scythe, if he were to cut, he would cut through that. It's like you need to stop focusing so much on the physical element of things and work more on your mindset because your mindset is what's suffering right now when it comes to love, Leo. It's not even another person here. Like, this is just your mindset. Yeah. Yeah, it's like being your own worst enemy. This is being, this is you being in an energy of being your own worst enemy. Because there is somebody here that wants to offer you. But you're dealing with past, what did I say? You're dealing with past hurts. And that is childhood neglect. You know, 3-3 three, three coming out together, which equals 6. 6 is about seeing yourself with the eyes of the divine. Seeing yourself from a loving position. And you want a stable home. Look, and there's your energy. But you have to build your own strength. Like, you can't expect people to come in because that's just greedy. That's being of limited visions. That's being not in a place of... Like, this is your energy too, the sun. You know, sometimes it's okay to network. To go deeper within. But it's time for you guys to really look within and see what it is that's working or not working for you. And I feel like being in this... This is like stubborn energy is what's coming in being stubborn like i'm so beautiful or i'm so handsome that people need to chase me and i don't need to put in any effort and if i put in any effort then that just goes against who i am as a person well you know that that's fine i mean you could totally stay in that energy it's not you know but again love is all encompassing of yourself and of others and it's like sometimes you have to kind of see that like, I feel like somebody offered you something here and it's like you didn't reciprocate and now it's like you're wondering if they even still care. And in wondering if they still care, it's like you're in this energy of like, well, if they still care, then they need to reach out to me. Well, if you're the one that's wondering, but you were the last one, like you, you weren't the last one to say something. Why is it that they have, they, they've probably already moved on, Leo. Like, like, let's be real. They probably already moved on because they're like, Leo ghosted me. Like, why should I, you know, go back to Leo? And you're over there in this energy. Well, if they care about me, then they better come back to me. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, like you wouldn't. So why do you expect another person to, you know? Yeah, look to your inner strength. You're stronger than you realize. Like, see, this is like your own mindset coming in. This is emotional ego. And you guys are ruled by the sun, which is the center of our ego, right? Our identity, When the Knight of Swords comes out, though, this is being conceited. Right? It's being conceited because, it's like, I have a right to be that way. Like, I keep getting this energy of, like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Lee. I just have to call it like it is. Okay? Like, I do. Maybe this is somebody you're dealing with. But here's the deal. Like, the energy that I'm getting, I'm going to read it as it comes through and understand the energy is fluid. So I'm not here calling you guys out. I'm just saying that this energy that's coming through right now is that, like, you're like, I'm the best, I'm the best of the best, I'm the best of the best of the best, and if somebody doesn't see that, then F them. Like, that's the energy that's coming through right now. So we have 23 coming out. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So I feel like this is very important for you because I feel like you need to take a chance. Like, you are the one that has to take a chance this time because there is a partnership waiting for you. Could it be love? Sure, it could be love, but this could also be a business partnership that you're blocking because you think that everybody has to approach you. Sometimes you got to be the one that approaches. Like, that's just life. Give and take. Ebb and flow. Resistance and fluidity. Fluidity. Okay, like, you guys have to be in that energy. Then we have 39, which is 11. It says, be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. I feel like you guys need to spend time asking yourself, why do I feel like I everybody else needs to come to me? Like, what does that stem from? I want to tell you, it comes from this wounding. 
this childhood wound that you have where you were taking care of your parents or you were taking care of your guardians. You were the one that always gave and you never had an opportunity to receive. And so now you're like in this energy of like, no, bitch, I'm going to be the one that receives no matter what. <laughs> and it's it, trust me, Leo, I think everybody goes through that. Like the childhood wound is such a prominent thing across our our entire world that it's like we all have to deal with it and and some of us are just more giving and loving than others but i feel like here's the deal it's like somebody offered you something and you didn't want to see it as an offer right you didn't want to see it that way you just kind of thought it was just kind of you know lame or whatever but you never communicated that to them you just like let them go and ghosted them right you're the one that caused this overall because if you're not honest with a person how can they how can they you know how how can they grow how can they come and communicate with you if you're not honest if you're not honest with yourself like that's that's crazy but you just focused on work instead of dealing with this situation it was like rather than telling this person how you felt at the time or anything like that you just went to focusing on work and that's where the transformation is it's like stop overloading yourself with work just so that you don't have to feel what it is that you're feeling on the inside and that's an easy place for many of us to get stuck in right and you guys are so independent and you take charge of your own lives that sometimes it's not that you guys forget that there's other people in the world but you guys can come across like that as though you've forgotten there's other people in the world it's not that you do it's just that that's an energy that you guys embody like and then we have your energy coming out from this deck yeah, it's time to let your inner radiance shine. Being authentic is being truthful to yourself. Set energy of really falling into your heart, your heart space and being honest with who you are and not fighting this anymore. Like, I feel like you need to be honest with whatever the situation is. So if you guys are involved with somebody, this is about being honest about how you feel in this connection. Okay, because there's a lot of like, so your energy is coming out here, but it's in the reverse. Right? You guys aren't in upright energy. The only thing that's upright is your work, really. And that you will persevere. Eventually, you're going to figure it out. Like that's, That is something that will happen. But you guys can make that happen quicker. You guys don't have to wait. I think they want this one. Composed. So this is, this is my emotional um, clarifiers. Right now, you guys are being composed. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense right now. Like... Like, composed in the fact of, like, you guys don't want people to know how you feel, right? You don't want people to know how you feel about certain things. You don't want people to know, like, anything about you. It's like, if you want to get to know me, you got to make the effort. But even when people do make the effort, you're still closed. Like, you're still, you know, you're still closed off. You don't want people to know you. You want people to get involved with you because you have a broken heart from childhood, and you're afraid that you're just going to get a broken heart right now. That everybody's the same. That's what I heard. I'm afraid that everybody's the exact same and I'm the only one that's different. Well, the more you single yourself out, the the harder it will be to find love. You know, like I was really hoping these messages were going to be a lot more positive. But, okay, so, wow. I'm trying to get some messages from the ghetto deck here, guys. Let's see what we got. Yeah, thank you for choosing to overcome your struggles, love source. So, like, that's the thing. You're going to overcome this struggle, but I feel like it's going to take some deep soul searching, too. Like, I feel like you're going to have to really come to terms with being honest with yourself. You've given up because of perceived defeat. Exactly. Like, you you don't want to fight because it's, like, scary. Okay, I heard they want me to shuffle. So this one keeps trying to come out, so I'm going to take it because you have blessings coming. A raised vibration, spiritual growth, a new perspective, and letting go of old limiting beliefs. And I feel like that's why this one wants to come out because it wants to show you that this is a limiting belief and you're going to eventually let it go. I want to get one more of these, but Source wants me to shuffle again. Okay, I heard one more time. Wow. So what do we have here? dragonfly yeah move beyond self-created illusions that have limited your growth yeah so like i can't get more clear than that guys like you can't this is this is crazy it's like exactly everything it's like you don't see that you're the only one that's causing this in your life it says don't put off until tomorrow what need be done today 
um, there's this, okay, what was that? Oh, ghetto messages. Yeah, there's just this energy of like, again, it's like, I don't feel like you're conceited because I feel like you're, you're conceited because you've given up. Like, it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a defense mechanism. It's not anything bad. It's just a defense mechanism for you. Okay. Others are comparing themselves to you. Yeah, and I think you know that. Like, I think you know people are comparing themselves to you, and it's kind of like gives you an egoic boost, and you like that, and that's the energy that you like to sit in. But again, it's like moving beyond that. It doesn't matter. Nobody's better than another person, even you, Leo. Like, nobody's better than another person. We're all here on the same journey together. Yes, we all have different aspects and lessons to learn on our journey, but we're all here on the same journey together. It says love is the reason. Like, yeah, this happened. So it like happened to you because there's love, you know, like you're learning how to become unconditional love. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Oh, and my camera doesn't like my writing apparently. So love is the reason. Like, it's like you guys are learning that, but it's like you still have to let go of that emotional ego that's holding you back. You need to embrace courage. Yeah. Look at that. Guys, I can't make this up. Come on. Yeah, you need to be courageous. If somebody reached out to you with love, like, don't be afraid to reach back out to them. I feel like you guys are just in this energy. Well, no, if they love me, then they should come back to me. Well, again, I'm going to come back to that, Leo. If this person, if you reached out to this person, told them how you felt, okay, whatever it is, like, hey, I like you. Hey, I think we should hang out, whatever it is. And they didn't get back to you, Leo. Come on, would you really reach back out to their asses? No, you'd be like, you know what, F that person, let them go. I don't give a damn. Go rot in hell for all I care. Like, you guys are, you're quick to cut people. Quick. When was the last time you laughed? Woo, yeah, when was the last time you laughed? Laughter is healing for you. Laughter is very healing for you. So go and laugh. Go and take some time with yourself, Leo. Like, stop trying to be in this energy of like, if they really care about me, then they should come towards me. Like, I don't have to do anything. Like, it ain't like that. Like, it ain't like that at all. This person will probably never come back because again, mirroring energies, right? If they did it to you, that's exactly how you would be. So I wish it was more positive, but sources, sources saying what sources saying. So there is blessings coming for you, but blessings in the fact that you're spiritually growing but you don't have to stay in this composed energy anymore. You need to deal with the dark, deep secrets within that you've been hiding and not healing. Okay? So this is what I have for you, Leo. I love you guys. I'm sending you out so much light and love. I know you're going to get over this. <laughs> so with all my love, um, you know, may you guys find the courage that you need. And like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Leos, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet up next time, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.